Hey, welcome back. Today we're going back to something. I haven't listened to these guys in a couple days. Uh, this is Sukekyo, and the song is Focus. <laughs> Now, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this video. Don't hit it if you don't like it. Anyways, um, I don't really know what to expect from these guys. I've only heard one song by them. Um, but I know Kyo likes to shake things up a bit from what people have been telling me. So I'm interested to hear what this song sounds like compared to the last song as well as compared to the... No, I can't compare it to Deer and Gray. That's an entire... Same lead singer, but completely different band. I don't want to compare the two. I'm very interested to see where this song goes, and I have no preconceived notions of where it's going to go. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. But I think I'm pronouncing that right. Somebody said in the last video I was, so I'm just going to roll with it. Hmm. This is surprisingly more of a music video than the last songs. There's just been a live version. I'm loving that piano start. This is a very different feel from the other songs. It's the same band, though. See, that's what I was talking about. I'm just gonna bust some rhymes out. That's what it feels like he's gonna do. Like, he's gonna drop some sick rhymes. Some R&B. It's definitely his voice, though. Just a beautiful voice. It's like an entire acoustic set. That's awesome. Wait. All right. Sorry about that. Um, something started playing on a different monitor, and I, or a different Chrome window. So I had to catch that. Stop it. Backed it up thirty seconds. Let's let's keep going though. So far, I guess I'll take a moment to reflect on what I'm thinking. So far, this sounds really like a heartfelt song. Which is, I mean, all of his songs have like a ton of meaning and passion behind it. This is just like a different side of that passion. It's more, I keep using the word intimate to describe it, but it's its not about, it's supposed to, so when bands do this, especially metal bands, it seems like they're trying to more make people focus on the message instead of the music, but the music in his, the uh, instrumentals in his music is also a huge part of it. So it's, this is going to be a complex one to interpret, I think. So I'm glad that we have this music video to kind of try and work through it. What are you trying to say here?
This is an interesting blend of electronic and not instrumentals. That was a really cool section. Not over. What is this song about? I'm getting weirded out now. It's like Jack Skellington's? What are those? It's like going in reverse now. on the group trying to enjoy that so I'm not saying much an entirely different side of this band than the last song. So had all the acoustic instruments, you got to show off their skills on those, felt very R&B, which is an interesting feel and not one that I was expecting, but it was very well done. The composition was still fantastic. That section in the middle where they combined like the electronic instruments and the acoustic instruments sounded fantastic. Usually bands, that if they're going to screw something up, that's where they screwed up. So that was really nice to hear that. I love his voice. His, his voice is great really no matter what he's singing so again as always that was impressive what did you guys think let me don't know <laughs> let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking if you're new here hit that subscribe button hit that like button i'd love for you to hang around and let's talk about this music if you got other suggestions i'd love to check it out style doesn't matter genre is just a word um i listen to really everything that is music i appreciate all sides of music as you should too so Drop your suggestions, hit that subscribe button, like button, let me know what's going on. So, until next time guys, I'll see you later.